The first Falmouth Road Race was held in 1973 on a rainy and windy Wednesday afternoon in August. The green t-shirt marking the occasion noted it was a marathon, but of course it wasn't 26.2 miles. Instead it was, and still is, a bit of a quirky distance of 7 miles, starting at the Captain Kidd restaurant in Woods Hole and ending at what was the old Brothers Four Club in Falmouth Heights. The idea of road racing was in its infancy in the early 70s, and Falmouth proved to be in step with the times as a fitness boom began to sweep across the country. And the route from Woods Hole to Falmouth Heights was a pleasant, refreshing route that race founder Tommy Leonard often ran. There were 92 finishers in the first Falmouth in 1973. At its peak in 2019, over 11,000 crossed the finish line in Falmouth Heights. Pencil and paper entries have been replaced by online registration, Cotton t-shirts and canvas sneakers gave way to moisture-wicking singlets and high-tech running shoes. Essential corporate sponsorships help fund a lucrative prize purse for the world's elite. More than 2,000 volunteers really run the race, doing anything and everything to support the Falmouth Road Race management team. And long after the revelry of race day Sunday subsides, the race's impact continues in the community throughout the year. Since 2012, the Falmouth Road Race has given back over $5 million to the community in the form of scholarships to graduating high school seniors, donations to various charity organizations, grant awards, sponsorships, and community projects, like installing a new track at Falmouth High School, scoreboards for various sports and locations around town, and fitness equipment for local schools, the new Senior Center, and the Falmouth Rec Department. Each of these philanthropic endeavors are aligned with its mission to support and promote local organizations with a specific focus on youth athletics and programming that promotes health and wellness. In 2020, when the world shut down, the Falmouth Road Race team saw an opportunity to support local business and continue supporting the many charity organizations that depend on the funds raised through this race each year. And the virtual at-home edition of the Falmouth Road Race was born. Nearly 10,000 runners and walkers participated from all across the globe. Participants selected at random and race supporters received one of over $35,000 in gift cards purchased from Falmouth area restaurants, hotels, and shops as a part of our Surprise and Delight initiative. This program was created to support local economy while sharing positivity and rewarding kindness throughout the challenging year. Wheelchair racers were invited to take part in a live streamed at home experience instead. Recorded on Zoom, nearly 50 participants from all over the world raced against the clock on their training rollers following a course video recorded by wheelchair racer Herman Garrick during the 2018 race. There was a virtual elite athlete scavenger hunt done with NBC Boston and runners created their own finish lines and shared their photos online. The team at Falmouth Road Race is involved in the community with its three full-time staff members and seven board members consistently supporting teachers, students, coaches, and administrators. They serve on various boards and advisory committees and represent the town of Falmouth across the country and even internationally when they attend or support other races, conferences, and industry-related events. Celebrating its 50th running in 2022, the race now known as the ASICS Falmouth Road Race has grown gracefully into one of the signature events in the world of distance running. Indeed, it's not a marathon, officially certified at exactly seven miles, but Falmouth is on a very short list of the best races in the country. On August 21st, over 10,000 runners will tow the line in Woods Hole to start the scenic seven mile course. They'll run by Knobska Lighthouse at mile one, through the shady woods of miles two and three, and onto the sunny stretch of Surf Drive at mile four, around Falmouth Harbor at mile five, by the band shell, past the Island Queen ferry boat, cross the 10K mark in Falmouth Heights, and finally rounding the corner at the Falmouth Yacht Club for the final stretch to the finish. The crowds are cheering, the American flag is waving over the finish area, and the music and finish festival are beckoning. All this from beloved Tommy Leonard's dream and his simple desire to assist the girls of the new Falmouth Track Club. Tommy said often of those early years, we were a band of brothers. It was a race born out of friendship. Those who were already friends and those who would become friends. Tommy passed away in 2019 at the age of 85, but his soaring spirit endures and he will forever be the emotional heartbeat of the Falmouth Road Race. We all think of him each year as we plan the events of the coming season and we hope that we make him proud.